and welcome into getting help from Uncle Sam, and in this case, getting help from Montgomery County. And of course, one of the big things happening in a couple of weeks is a municipal election for mayor, and you wonder, well, who's responsible for that? <laughs> this guy right here is. This is Judge J.C. Love, the probate judge for Montgomery County, and basically, this one totally comes under your purview. <laughs> yes, it does. And the staff over the election center has definitely been working very hard to get ready for this election. Mm -hmm. And basically, what will happen is that, the, is that the same precincts where they vote on a bigger election? Well, no, we have different precincts on the city level than on the state and national okay. elections. So on the city level, it's the city council members who uh, set the election. And so this year, mm -hmm. actually, we're going to have fewer precincts than what we had in 29. I mean, 2019. Uh, mm -hmm. um, we had about 46 precincts for that election, wow. and now we're down to 36. So it's really going to be very important uh, for residents to, when they receive those yellow cards from the Board of Registrars, to really take a look and find out where their polling precinct is going to be. Should they have received a card with that information? Well, the Board of Registrars are in the process of mailing them out, so they should be going out now. So mm -hmm. uh, by the time this airs, then everyone probably should have received it. Good. Um, but really look at it because your city council district may have changed because we just came uh, through the whole redistricting process as a result of the 2020 census. Mm -hmm. And so there are some districts that had to extend further out east just due to where the, uh, yeah, the population, the, the population had shifted mm -hmm. out east so that they could have proportionality of districts. So it's going to be very important to look at those cards. But if anyone has any questions, they can go to the alabama.gov website, the Secretary of State's website, or they can go to the Election Center's website at montgomeryvotesal.gov mm -hmm. and be able to put in their address and find out where exactly they'll be going on election It's day. called montgomeryvotes.gov. At al.gov. At al.gov. Yes. And that's the way you find it from for this area here. Yes. And then the important question is, on this kind of an election, can people vote absentee? Well, yes, absentee voting is available. Mm -hmm. um, it is going to begin on July 24th, and it will run up until August 17th. Okay. Um, and so anyone who wants to vote absentee can request an absentee ballot by mail. They can go up to the Montgomery County Courthouse, where the absentee election manager's office is, mm -hmm. at 251 South Lawrence Street, and also pick up an absentee ballot application. Yeah, because all of that comes under you again. Well, in, with the elections in, here, there are three different parts. The circuit clerk serves as the absentee election manager, so she conducts the absentee voting portion of the election. The board of registrars maintains the voting list, mm -hmm. and then we come in and, and put on the election on election day. Which is great. Yes. <laughs> You're able to do it. And for election day, it'll be like 7 to 7, 7 in the morning? Yeah, till 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. 7 p.m. And so um, we'll, we're beginning the process now, beginning to train our poll workers. Um, for the election, and we've got a number of high school students that have uh, signed up to serve as student poll workers. So they'll be a, well, they'll be at the precinct on election day. Mm -hmm. um, they won't be uh, managing the equipment, but they will be able to assist and help out w if necessary where they need be. But also, mm -hmm. uh, kind of see elections firsthand. That's um, a good way to do it. Yes, yeah, because they the need process. to be a part of that process, which makes a lot of sense. And of course, when you were here last time, we talked about. You're creating a number of kiosks yes. that can be in good areas around the city that can aid voters, well, not voters, but just citizens in doing a lot of things, right? On, you don't have to go to an office. Oh, no, you don't. And that's one of the things we've really been stressing over the past uh, three and a half years is really trying to make our office a one-stop shop, but also try to make our office more accessible uh, mm -hmm. to residents. And so... Uh, we're hopeful by the end of this year we will have kiosks and grocery stores that will be able to print out your renewal sticker wow. and go to to renew your driver's license. Um, and if you want to, be able to register to vote. We always want to try to make that accessible to anyone as possible. We're really mm -hmm. happy about uh, ha making it accessible for people to go to the grocery store and be able to print out the renewal sticker. So where they now nice. can order it online and have it in the mail. Once you pay, it'll print it out. You can put it directly in your and car. Can we go to your website and find out where these kiosks are located? Oh, well, yes. When we get them, we'll definitely have a big push on them. But okay. if anyone has any questions or want about any services that we offer, our website is montgomeryprobatecourtal.gov. Mm -hmm. This is going to be interesting. When you're watching a game show on television and they ask a question, what's the longest wait time in the world? It's always... <laughs> The, the, the motor vehicle division, you know, DVM or D, D, DMV. Oh, yes. and, uh, but I want to say this. They say that. 
the, the reason I brought that up is because in your department, since you've been probate judge, people get in, get out, they move. You're service oriented. Well, thank you. We definitely try to be respectful of people's time that we mm -hmm. know more and more demands are really put on them during the work day. So the quicker we can get you in and out, the better that we want to do. And so we do uh, monitor the wait times. We look at it every month. And so we can see uh, what the wait times are per clerk, per transaction. So we always try to work and train and try to make sure our clerks are as efficient as possible. Great. Well, thank you for all that you do. And remember, this is for Montgomery County. Check with your counties because the probate office is maybe trying to do some of the things that they're doing in Montgomery to make all of your transactions a lot easier. We'll be right back right after this.